In this video, I'm going to show you how you can clear math exam with a CA of 5. So let's say your CA is 5. You have a 5% out of 30. Okay? So you have 5 out of 30. How can you clear math exam? Now I'm going to explain this using um, a past paper. Now we know that exam is out of 70. So the CA is uh, it comprises of uh, 30 marks, 30 percent. Then exam final exam is 30, uh, 70 percent. Then the total is 100. Okay. So now, um, let's say the final exam you have 54 percent. That is out of 100 now. Now we need to find what what is 54 over 70. So if we do 54 divided by 70, or divided by 100, sorry, because we are trying to find divided by 100 times a 70, because the percentage is always 100, out of 100. So 54 divided by 100 times 70 percent. This is supposed to be percent. Okay, that is uh, is giving me thirty seven point thirty five point eight. Okay, now let's say your CA is five. So what is that five thirty seven point eight plus plus five? That is giving me forty two point eight percent, which is a C. What it means is that even uh, if you can if you can just get fifty two percent. In the final exam. Now, this 52, if you do 52 divided by 100, it's going to give us 10 times 70, is that 6.4. The 6.4 plus 5, your CA is 5, you're going to have 41.4. Again, what it means is that even if you get 51%, if I've got a CA of 5, you get a 51% in the final exam, you are still going to have a 40.8 which is a C. Now, how can you get a 50% if you have got a C of 5 and you are there discouraged to say, I think I'm not going to make it. Now, I'm going to show you how you can get maybe more than 50% in the final exam using the paper. Okay? And this is going to help you on how you are going to answer the questions. So, there we go. I'll use the past paper. So this is the paper I'm going to use. Now I'm going to use this past paper because it uh, it uh, we have marks which are yes down here we have marks. So now here we are required to choose how many questions. We are required to choose five questions. You are going to be given seven questions. You choose five. You leave two. So let's say this is question one, and I know that question one. Most of you guys are going to choose question one. Okay. So here is our question one. Just a minute, let me just pick the red one here. So here is our question one. Now this question one, uh, we have A, which is under sets. I believe this one you can solve. We have one, two, we have also three. You can solve this. Then this is also under sets B. Everything is under sets. This is under complex numbers. I believe this one you can also solve. Now, let's assume to say you have chosen this question. Okay? Then, how many marks do we have? So, we have 7, 7, 6. So, we have 7 plus 7 plus 7. Just question 1, you have um, 21. Okay? That is 21. Question 1 only. Now, let's go to question 2. So, I'll just go down here so that we see question 2. So, question 2 is also simple. You can choose this. So, let's say you have chosen question 2, which is uh, here. Now, question 2, we have binary operation. You can choose this. You can solve this one is direct. Then, you also have a rational function. We have the function, the, the radical function. What else? We have got um, 
how to determine whether the function is even or odd you can choose this then you have got rational functions now to show that this is one to one you can solve that that is under functions which is just direct now here we also have 776 which is also 20 7 plus 7 14 plus 6 that is going to be uh, so I have 7 plus 7 then plus 6 which is um, saying 7 plus 7 plus 6 you have 20 so question 2 alone you have what you have 20 okay question 2 you have 20 so for question 1 we have so question 1 we have 21 then question 2 Question 2, we have, that is question 1. Question 2, you have 20, flat. Let's go to question 3, if we can choose question 3. Now, we're just seeing how you can, let's see how, let's say maybe you choose question 3 as well. So question 3, where is question 3? Okay, question 3, I'll come here. I think it's this one. Oh, this is question 4. So question 3 is here. Question 3 we also have 20. 7, 7, 14 plus 6, 20. So question 3 we also have 20. Okay. Then question... Which other question do we have? Question 4. Okay, we have to choose four, 5 questions. So 4 was also simple. I'm going, I'm going to assume that I've chosen 4. That is if you know, I'm going to choose 4. Question 4, it has how many marks? Question 4, it has, let's see, question 4, question 4, 6, 6, 12, plus 8, it has also 20. Let's choose the last one. Okay. I think even this one had 20. It can, it can be 21. It's 20, 20, 20, because there are going to be 5, so that it's, it's going to be 100. Then question E. Question 5, you choose it, it's going to be 20, which is 100. Now, let's say each question, you get uh, 13, 13 out of 20. So question 1, you get 13. So we're going to say 13 times 5. So 13 times 5, which is going to give me a 65%. Okay? You are, get, you are just getting 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Sometimes you can get maybe 15. Yeah, so you have 65%. Now, 65 divided by 100 times a 70. That's how you find the percentage. You get the 65 divided by 100 times 70, which is going to be a 45. What does it mean? We have 45.5, meaning that even if you have got a C of 0, if you can get just 65% in an exam, it's possible you are going to clear. So let's say you have got a C of 5. So 5 plus 45 is going to be 50. That is definitely a C plus. Okay. So it is very much possible you can clear with a C of 5, even a C of 3. You can clear a math exam. Now, that one will only depend on you how fast you are going to be solving the questions. The moment you choose question 1, let's go back to question 1. Okay, or I can use question two. It's okay, or even four. Anyway, let me just use question two. Okay, let's go to question three. I'll use question three. Let's say you want to cho you want to answer this question. Question three. Now, this question we have with the first question, which is under log, the, uh, which is part A, part B is under trig, part C is under binomial, which is part one. Then part two is under is under binomial as well. But 3 is also under binomial. Now, let's assume to say you are having challenges with this part alone. Okay? This one. Okay? So now, if you if you, you are having challenges on how to solve this, it's better you skip this question. You don't have to start thinking, no. Skip that question, go to the next one. You do that until you finish. If you will be able to finish everything, then you can go back and now solve the remaining ones. So this is the good tip which can help you 
to to clear math if you have got a ca less than or equal to 5 it is very much possible you can clear math